Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In my previous video, I showed the Boeing client with Rosetta at home to analyze COVID-19. I tried to install it on my Pinebook Pro, but it was a bit more challenging than I expected. In the end, it wasn't that difficult, but I did need the help from someone else. So what you can do is you can try to find the Boeing Knox client. And I also tried to install the Boeing manager, but somehow that freezes the PAMAC manager. So that never worked. But you can use the Boeing terminal UI. It's, well, a bit old fashioned user interface, but it does work. Now, the challenging part was that you need to start the server. So this is something that you have to do in the terminal. And well, this is the Wink client that is already running. So in th theory, you just copy this command. And then you execute it. But in my case, I already did that. Then you need to set the password and the password is stored in this file. And in this case, we're using nano to edit it. And nano is a very simple text editor. By default, it's a quite a long string and in my case I just use the default password that I use on my Pinebook Pro and you can just immediately type it's not as complicated as uh, VI and you can also use uh, delete backspace and when you're done you can just press Control X well, in my case, I didn't change anything, but when you have made changes, it will ask if you want to save or cancel. Well, so when you have the password in that file, you can restart the Moon client. And when the Boeing client has been restarted, you can run Boeing terminal UI. And when the first time when you start the user interface for Boeing, it will look a little bit different than this. You can use F9 to enter the menu. And I think when you start the first time that you need to configure the host. You can keep the home IP address you can keep the port number and you just need to fill in the password that you used in the previous file and you can tap to the other field and then type it in. Well, in my case, it's already configured. So and press F9 again to get back to the menu. In that case, you can uh, try to connect with a manager and uh, because it's a little bit different when you already started something or when everything still needs to be configured. But I think uh, here it's said like connect to a manager and then 
uh, you can choose uh, BAM. BAM is the Boeing Account Manager. So when you go to this address, there you can create an account. Well, I guess uh, you can fill something in yourself, of course, your own email address. And it don't remember exactly anymore, but it could be that you receive an email where you need to uh, reply or that it has a URL to verify that you actually want to have an account. So that's also that you need to fill in here. Well, I can't show it anymore, but. And once that's done, then you can add a project. And in my case, I already chose Rosetta and perhaps that's why it isn't listed anymore and that you can already see that it is listed here. And you can choose to update the project when you don't get a task assigned. And it could be that for perhaps sometimes even a couple of hours that you don't get a task. I mean, that doesn't mean that it's not working. It simply means that sometimes there is no work available. So just let it go for a couple of hours and come back later and try again. And for instance, when you no longer want to dedicate your machine to Rosetta at home, then you can choose for no new tasks. And that means that your current task will be finished, but and it will be uploaded back to the server, but it will no longer uh, try to retrieve a new task. Because when you accept a task, it's sort of like blocked for, I think it's like three days. The server will wait for three days for you to upload the result. But yeah, if you forget to set no new task, then it could be that there's still something on your machine and then they are just waiting for nothing. Well, of course, they will send out that task after three days. So that's not really a problem. And I hope that more people are willing to join the fight against COVID-19. And of course, this is not the most important thing against COVID-19. And I think at the moment, the most important thing you have to do is wash your hands, try to stay at home as much as possible. and try to stay sane. And that is all for now. If you need help with setting up the Boeing client and getting access to Rosetta at home, oh, I almost forgot, because the Boeing account manager is sort of like an umbrella program but when you want to join Rosetta at home for instance here uh, yeah so it says like okay Rosetta at home studies coronavirus when you click here you can go to Rosetta at home And you can join Rosetta at home. And probably you can use the same credentials uh, or at least try to set up the same credentials. And I'm not really sure why it says like when you're new, 
it only says like download the software and just go ahead and when it says I'm a Wong user there you have the option to create an account well it says that it's only needed for the command line version but it could be that you also need it for the Android app I'm not really sure on that anyway it doesn't really matter but at least you know the option is there to create an account and I think when you join um, Rosetta at home with the Pinebook Pro with Linux then you do need to have an account so you need to create an account before you can join Rosetta at home on the Pinebook Pro so let's just say even when you're not willing to do this perhaps you can um, notify other people that the option is there because we've seen how much impact this has on almost everyone in the countries that are affected and even the countries that don't have any COVID-19 patients at the moment they probably are also impacted because the economy will be impacted and that's on a global scale so of course it's your own choice and it's a free world you can do well most of the time you can do whatever you want but I really do hope um, you want to join this project or at least notify other people of the opportunity to help out with analyzing COVID-19 so that's all for today I hope you're healthy stay safe stay at home and I hope to see you again in my next video